Hello community, GPT OS 120B from OpenAI. In my last video, people were not really happy that they used Cerebras with 3000 token. So here we are now in the official OpenAI playground. I go to maximum reasoning. I show the reasoning. I insert here a test, a simpler test. 10 months ago, I developed this for 01. So this is the test, a simpler test I'm going to insert now. So let's have a look. How does the performance vary now? So here we are officially the Wizard of Galaria. My older subscriber know this here. This was my other test here. It's a causal reasoning task. And you see here the syncing process. Okay, so we have here a very segmented syncing process. Just giving us some line. It's a nice idea. I like this, yes. So piece by piece you get here the syncing process of the 120B model. But what happens if we click here? Wait a minute. Okay, now we have it here in chronological order. It's nice. So we can scroll through. So we're here in real time. You see, this is here the syncing process. This is really here because I have done. Hey, done. This was nice. This was less than a minute. Beautiful. So now apply the constraints. Everything is here. Okay, done. But where's the answer? Done is nice. This was the reasoning process. Because I said show reasoning. This is here my test. Beautiful, my test. So 37 seconds. Really excellent for the 120B model. Now we're just waiting for the answer because you see my instruction. Present your final answer in a clear organized format. So where's the answer? Oh, it's syncing. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. It is still syncing. Okay. So at the end here of the reasoning process, anything else coming up? No, just done. We're waiting for the official answer by OpenAI, by the 120B open weight reasoning model here. Beautiful. This is the GPT OSS 120B. We're still syncing. Now it's about a minute that it is syncing to generate here the answer. And here we are, blue arrow. That's it. So where's the result? Where's the output? Where's the answer? This is not possible. Give me a second. So this is here my input. Then this is the sort process. So where's the answer? The answer is missing. This is not possible. Uh, OpenAI, present your final answer in a clear organized format. Where is it? Come on. So I say, you forgot to present a result for the human user. Please follow my instruction to present your answer at the end of the syncing process. I would love, it would be beautiful to have an answer. And it starts all over again. No, don't. My goodness, it has problems to follow instruction. Look, it starts again with the whole analysis of my logical test. Now, let's restart everything. No, I just wanted an answer. My goodness, come on. This is the open source model here by GPT. So what? We have no way to run everything again. We run everything again. Ladies and gentlemen, we now enjoy a second run. Okay, that's always good to have a second run. We are positive. It's summertime. It's beautiful outside. Yes, I'm sitting here in front of my computer. Potential assignments. Option one, option two, option three. Nice. Okay, can't take long. 37 seconds. We'll be done any second now. And maybe we get also an official answer. So... If this is a persistent feature, I would say <laughs> open the eye. Maybe you would uh, give the user then maybe also an answer. That would be a beautiful new feature here. Buy an open weight model. Okay, we're still thinking. Okay, puzzle statement. Present your final answer. Yes, yes, we are coming closer. Now we must also consider something else. Complexity constraint, do not fix this. Oh, we have not yet arrived on a final answer. You cannot be sure. We need to define. Uh oh, we are again deeply in the thinking process. Okay, you run through all the options. Come on, this is a very old test. There should be no problem at all with this test. For the latest GPT model by OpenAI, independent, it's open weight or not. And now, now we are coming close to the answer. We will have the answer now every second now. Both are acceptable. Uh, complexity ranking, yes, complexity ranking. Sort for 125 seconds. We have an answer. 
Hey, this, this is a beautiful model. It gives you an answer. Look at this. Now, here's another video from Opus 4, the non-syncing model. Here you see the final answer by Opus 4. Now you can compare it. And it's almost identical. Just two things are different, but never mind. Solution has been reached. We have an output. This is great. Place the artifacts. Real nice. All artifacts are placed. The remaining Fermonius. Nice. Okay. Gives me a real interesting reasoning process. I like this. The clues are now satisfied. These are the original clues. Insert the additional complexity information. Yes. Okay. Complexity clues are inserted. Permutations are calculated. And thus the table show not a initial consistent complete solution. The final answer is here and the complexity rank is gone. <laughs> okay. It can be added. Okay. Everything is satisfied. Okay, so we have a solution, and this is equivalent to Opus 4 non-syncing. So if we have the 120B with full high reasoning, it is more or less equivalent to Opus 4 non-syncing. Now I say verify result. We need to verify the solution. This is great. Yes. Let's compare them. Yes, sort for seven seconds. Okay. Verification of the original 15 clues. How the table satisfied? No, not how the table. You should go through a verification process. All 15 clues are verified. Each wizard rank. The following table shows that it is verified. Verify with the table. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, it's okay. It's an open source model. Yeah, okay. Summary, the final answer. Satisfied, yeah. Fits naturally. It fits naturally. Come on, what do you want? It's an open source model. So, beautiful summary final answer with the complexity rank. Yes, this is it. Beautiful. This looks good. We have here a correct answer. Beautiful. So, this works out. And now I ask, is there any other valid answer possible? We have the thinking process. Yes, beautiful. Let's have a look. Okay, we're thinking. We are thinking. This is great. Maybe we should have a look at the thinking. No. Because otherwise this is going to get boring real soon. Yes. Tries to find 16 seconds. Yes. Okay. So 16 seconds. And let's have a look at this. At the thinking process. Quite a lot. Accelerates 300%. Because, yeah, you can read it if you want. It's, it's not too fast. But otherwise, yeah, we just run through this. Beautiful. 300% accelerated. You see here the thinking process here. It tries to find alternative solution. Yes, there are alternative solution. I left quite some open symmetry here in the solution space to this causal reasoning test. So beautiful, it goes through this. It finds here the other solution. This is great. Remember, we are at the maximum reasoning level here of this open source model. Okay, let's go. Everything and us is done. Yes, we achieved it. Beautiful. So. Would you be so kind to put an output? Because there was no answer given. Yeah? The user asks, is there any answer? No, not, not again. No, no, don't do this again. No, it's running the thinking process all over again. Okay, let's accelerate 500% because now it gets boring. It has real problems to follow instruction because I just want the output of the answer that is not presented to me. Okay. One minute later. Short answer to your direct question. Thank you. One complete solution satisfies all the clues. There are three different arrangements. This is correct. This looks good. What are the other logical possibilities? Yes, this is okay. Yes, this is very nice. Okay, find a solution. Hey, there's something wrong. Look at this. No, the complexity rank jumped to the... No, wait a minute. Look. The first four lines in this matrix are the complexity rank. One, four, two, and seven. Great. And then we jump in the table. This is a misallocation of the table. Look, it belongs over there. This is incorrect. This output is incorrect because it mixed up here the cells in the matrix. This is not okay. This is, this is a problem. Because if you can trust that it generates a table, we have a problem. 